Hello friends and viewers, welcome to my channel. I hope you all are well. Myself optometrist by profession, working in Dubai Abu Dhabi presently. I am having a total overall experience of more than 10 years before I was working in India, but now I am presently working in Dubai Abu Dhabi UAE. Today I am going to discuss regarding the career in optometry. So I will discuss today what is the optometry all about and what are the work they are doing and if you are passing the course after that what are the job opportunities what are the qualification required to join optometry all those things i will explain you in detail before that i will just tell you what optometry is optometry is basically a healthcare professional and optometrists are the primary healthcare practitioners of the eye and the visual system who provides comprehensive eye and vision care and it includes refraction dispensing optics there are other works also which are doing which are done by the optometrist and they're working in the hospitals in the opticals and many other fields but before i go in the detail i just want to tell all over the world there are around 285 million people who suffer from moderate to severe loss of visions and out of that around 123 millions that is around approximately around 43 percent of the of those totals is having uncorrected distance refractive errors. So these can be corrected by the form of glasses, prescription glasses. So there is a this is the part where the optometrists play a major role. So optometrists are the basically primary healthcare professionals and they take care of this. They are the front line of the eye care system. So now I will just tell you regarding the eligibility criteria. What are the necessities and based on which you will, you will which you can join the course of optometry after the class 12 you can join for the bachelor in optometry and vision science or bsc in optometry and the subjects which is required for those class 12 is physics chemistry maths or physics chemistry biology so science team is mandatory for this optometry course to take part and most of the universities they take a primary preliminary examination based on which you can take the admission. It is a common test test like that. If you are going for the bachelor degree in optometry, it is four years degree course out of which three years you have to study and the last year is the internship, comprehensive internship you have to do in any of the hospitals under the guidance of the ophthalmologist and the optometrist who are working there. When you take the admission, the courses in the four years optometry course, three years as I told it is of studies. First year you have to study regarding the general anatomy and physiology and the ocular anatomy and physiology of the eye you have to study. Apart from that you have to study the biochemistry, there is geometrical optics is there which you have also to study in those times. Second year you will have the pharmacology general pharmacology is there and the ocular pharmacology is there then the other comes in the main topic of optometry that is the dispensing optics the refraction will be there then contact lenses low vision aids will be there binocular vision sports vision ocular disease and many other subjects are being covered throughout these three years of course and you get the specialty and second year and in the third year when you go in the third year the specialty courses will be there in the optometry complete the three year studies there will be internship of one year and when you will be posted in that hospital they will give you postings in the depart different departments for example first they will teach you how to do the refraction the power part then they will give you the departments of cornea contact lenses low vision needs squint evaluations many departments are there they will give you the posting in that departments and in optometry another advantage is that after you complete the course you can practice independently also you can own you can make your own setup and do the practice there so once you complete the bachelor degree in optometry the four years course the opportunities what you can get is you can go for the higher studies you can do fellowship in optometry you can do masters in optometry and if, even if you want you can do phd in optometry also and then a doctor of optometry also but presently that is not available in india and once you pass out the course, what are the career opportunities? That is the most important part which everyone will be trying to focus on before they get the admission in the class after the class 12 exams. Okay, so you can as an optometrist you can work in the hospitals under the 
and the, with the ophthalmologist, with the senior optometrist there. Other opportunities you can get is that you can work in the opticals also in the retail outlets as an independent optometrist, you can practice there. Apart from that, there are many professional, you can join as the professional services of many multinational companies. You can join as an educator, you can join as a teacher or lecturer. You know, many of the colleges nowadays, you can take admin, you can get opportunity to work as a teacher or as a like, professor. Then there are many contact lens companies are there where also you can get a chance of recruitment is there. You can work in the ophthalmic lens companies, for example, many companies are there, I don't want to tell the name of those companies. And you can even also work in abroad, in the Gulf countries you can go, you can work there also. There are many uh, organizations who are and the colleges who are giving admission to this optometry. In West Bengal, if you are from, then WBUT is the West Bengal University of Technology is the university. And under them, there are many colleges who are providing these optometry courses. Apart from that, Bharatiya Vidyapit Pune, Delhi, its AIMS, Amity are there. These are one of the topmost universities where you can go for the optometry. And there are many other colleges also and institutions are there, which you can see in the Google. If you just Google, you can go get the full details out of it. So now comes what are the work which are generally being done by the optometrist. You can you have to do the refraction there, means you have to check the prescription of the eyes, it's for the distance, it's for the near, you have to check the prescription, then you can work for the contact lenses, in that department also you can work, and there are some of the specialty departments, specialty of the departments where you can work, it's like low vision aids you can work, vision therapy you can work, diagnostic workup is there, means the work which is done before the surgery. For example, cataract surgery, if you are doing it, is done by the ophthalmologist, the doctors. But before that, you have to do some of the evaluations. The we have called it A scan. That we have to check the what prescription of the lenses is to be given inside the eye, the IOL. All those things are being determined and calculated by the optometrist. Then we are doing the color vision checkup. Also, we are doing for the squint, the strabismus of the eyes. If it is there, it is also done by the optometrist prosthetic eye and screening of the eye also is done by the optometrist in many camps also it has been done. So overall I can see it's a very good profession. You can join the course of optometry, it's a four year degree course and not only national level you can even join some of the organizations in international level also. Many persons are working outside also in many organizations. So I just in a wrap up I will tell it is a good profession, you can choose, it's a medical profession, you can go for this, it's a 4 years course and hopefully you will like my video. Uh, thank you, if you like the video, you can just give a like button to this. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video.